Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll go through the go through this process. Please do. And then if we have a file that we can actually put in the system, I'll let some somebody do that. Okay, good. So you get a handle on it. Um, so assuming I'm creating a new file here, um, obviously you always want to make sure 44.1 stereo 16 bit mm -hmm. should be the standard. So I'm opening mm -hmm. up Adobe Audition. Yep. Do it. So you create you create a new file. So I'm just going to create a quick new file, just like you would with Adobe. Blah 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 blah. <laughs> All right. So assume that is a file that has been created for the system. Mm -hmm. Okay. On the right side, under XMP, right. you're going to see there should be an option for wide orbit. Mm -hmm. Under there, you'll have title, artist, out cue, start, end date, and year. Right. Mm -hmm. The minimum that you need to put in is something on the title field. Mm -hmm. Okay? Because if you load something to the system, you don't have a title on it, it'll be hard to find. So I put like yeah. ASU, ASU Con Part 1. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Um, it, if it was a song going into the system, obviously title and whatever the artist of the song is. Um, out cue is usually used for... Uh, at the end of maybe, uh, usually on the end of a spot, it's the last thing going through. Don't need or stuff. sometimes people put their initials to show who actually did the underwrite right. or spot or whatever. Um, start and end date is only needed if you need a start and end date. If you leave it blank, it um, makes a TFN. Okay. So if you don't care about an end date, leave it blank. But uh, okay, in the case of like I do an end date, see what happens now is when I get the file, like it's, like it's a cart. And so, and I, I end date them like for the day after, for instance, um, Arizona Encore was Tuesday. Uh, so what would that was with the fourth? You, so you make it in on the fifth. And on the fifth. So the next time, so well, next time I go in and see that cart, the ones that are out of date are highlighted in yellow. So I know which ones are, you know, they're kaput because they're dated anyway. So that's why I know the new ones. I just load them into that and, you know, click and replace them and away it goes. It, that's just a little... A reminder for me, so I don't get the wrong ones. But um, okay, if um, if it needs an end date, um, you can just put an end date in. And you just got to follow it, uh, month, month, day, day, year, year. In parentheses is just yeah. showing you how you have to format it. Oh, yeah. no um, that the one if you format it that format it that way, that's how we know how to suck it in. Um, if this is a file that you're saving. For yourself, you're not finished with it. Mm -hmm. um, it's not going to wide orbit yet. It's just for yourself. You're going to use file save as. Okay. So file save as, and save it to your Y drive, whatever it is. Right. Okay. Okay. If it is for wide orbit, it's done. It's completed. It needs to get into wide orbit. You're going to use file export mm -hmm. file. The reason for this is, as you know, if you use file save as, every time you go and use it, if I last wherever I left it last, that's where it is. So if it's on the the Y drive, if I use save as, then I got to change it to a different drive. I got to change it to wide orbit. Mm -hmm. The file export file, as long as we put it in the place, it'll have the I drive ready, the wide orbit ready, 44 one wave, st uh, stereo 16 bit, and markers and metadata is included. That means title artist. Mm -hmm. It'll be all ready for you. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to worry about where everything needs to go. All you have to worry about is putting the file name. Okay. This is the important part. The file name is the category and number of where it's going. Right. So if it's a promo, QPR is the category. If it was music, it's QMA or B, mm -hmm. followed by a four-digit number. In this case, let's say it's 5,000. Okay. So I put in QPR 5,000. That's category number. So when I send that to the iDrive, which is the import directory, the system will know, oh, I take this file, I'm ingesting it, I'm going to put it in this category with this number. Okay. That's, That's how it knows to put it somewhere. Okay. Okay. No, no spaces, no dashes. Okay. So I'm sorry. So, I mean, this goes, like a file name would be ASU number one, for instance. And then QRC... Was where it's going to go. So that's the second. So one. in the the title, you probably mm -hmm. would have put the name of the file, right? And then when you're saving it to wide orbit in the file name, you're putting the category number it's going into. My question now is, where he puts in the title, does that have to exactly match what's on the program log? Not necessarily. Okay, but as long as it's the category and cut ID number. Yes. 
That's, that's what has the really happen. important thing. That's the important because that's what the log will play. So are you it, just inventing a um, an, a number, or are you are you continuing on where the numbers last left? I am just I just just created this number out of my head. Um, I'm assuming sometimes if you're putting something in, somebody's going to give you a number to put in. I don't I don't know how. Like in your old system, you're getting numbers. Mm -hmm. When you're putting something in the system, the numbers had to come from somewhere. Okay. Well, I can show you that if you if you want to open the Y drive on this, I can I can show you. Oh, like for traffic. traffic. But I'm sure I'm sure because Music the Master yeah. generates automatically yeah. the next number. Uh, okay. Well, then so then if if that if that's the case, then they would say if you're putting in a file, they're going to say put it in this category under this number. So somebody's telling you. So Janine's going to say put it in QRC one double oh one because that's what she has scheduled in Music Master. Correct. Okay. So the chances are they're going to tell you what numbers to put it in. Okay. Okay. And you can always use the same number week after week in the case of a recurring ASU. Well, that's what we do. Yeah. 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 Part, yeah, part one, part two. Because I label it whatever. Now, I want. if if somebody tell if, if you're putting something in and nobody cares what the number needs to be, mm -hmm. you can use what's called the wild card. Meaning, if I do, uh, I'm just using the promos as an example. If I put in four pounds. That is going to find the next available number within that category. Mm -hmm. okay. Well, okay. that's what I was asking. That's a, that's a wild card. Now, some people will use, let's say I use four and three pounds. So I use the number four with three pounds. That means it's going to find the next available number in the 4,000 series and so forth. Okay. So I could do four, five, and two pounds, whatever. Right. Mm. Um, that's if you don't really care what number it is. Nobody gave you a number. That's the best way to do it. I just title it. Make sure it. that you do give it a title because if you do a wild card and you don't, <laughs> don't, don't give it a title, you're never going to find it. <laughs> All right. So then once you do that, I'm just going to I'm just gonna put the word test because I want the file to reject anyways. Mm -hmm. You just click OK. All right. Save it white over file, and then the file should ship, in, uh, ship into the system. Mm -hmm. Okay. So in this particular case then, since, um, well, for instance, like, these shells are built up of one, two, three, four, five elements at least, stacked. You know, one, two, uh, number one you know, goes into their underwrite, goes into Janine's underwrite, goes into the next segment of the program, goes into one more underwrite, and that's the end. So how do I stack them in this? So they're not like all over the freaking place. Because uh, it has to be all, it's, it's a self-contained cart now. That has everything, all the elements in it. You're talking about a rotator. Yeah. Cart? Right. That's yeah. what it is because the I mean, billboard it's, it's, and then the. Yeah, it's um, not. I mean, I can show you if you pull up. Uh, where's an audio vault? And I'll show it to you. Indeed. Well, okay. no, that doesn't. He said it's contained within the cart. That doesn't make. I can't do that. That's not a rotator. I don't. I don't understand what. Let that me show is. you what. It, let me show you what it does now. And can if we, we can finish the training here, John? Sure. Whatever. Yeah. Uh, but this is really important. You get the bit mm -hmm. botches. They're gone, and it's like you know. Okay. Um, Why don't we go to where this program goes in the log mm -hmm. and set it up? That's, that's what we need to do. That's where it is now. So, so it always shows up. Because it, it shows up and it comes from Music Master? Um, no, no, no. Um, I get the file. Uh, okay. I'm just going to answer your question. I get the files from Central Sound, which is our production studio downtown. And they send them to me in waveform. What puts them into the schedule? Yeah. I do. You just manually put them in? Yeah. So you're, that's so the only way. a placeholder in Music Master. Well, there's a placeholder with ASU in concert. In okay, it. so it's in the law. And it's the, but yeah, but it's an expandable thing okay. with several, you know, with another Oh, you do a micro, uh, he's doing a mac, some kind of macro. He can't do that. You could go look at this entry in the log. where Yeah, where Master it should be, and he just needs to put the. F and put the files in and show him how to insert files around it so it. Is built the same way. He'd have his group of files that need to play in yeah. order. inserted into the log or the playlist at the appropriate spot. It wouldn't be hard to do. You just have to import yeah. the files, know what the underwrites are, mm -hmm. know what the promo is, stack it up, just like you were showing people how to insert tracks. Yeah, it's well, it'd be the same thing. I mean, these are just audio files. So you're just Correct. inserting all. If there's six of them, you just insert all six of them. Right. But yeah, and, but and then the, the, here's the the other widget. And we t I think we talked about this. SymphonyCast itself propagates its own files, and it has their own underwrites and everything with it. So, mm -hmm. uh, so that's yeah. That's all all set up. That and Sunday broke. Okay, so it, it, so if you set that up, something like that, it seems to me that I should be able to insert everything. Um, 
you know, on the two sh I mean, on the other shows that just are like our individual files that they send me. Um, because we're going to run into this with the symphony, we're going to run into this and with Christmas with and those Christmas. nine lessons and all the rest yeah. of it. Yeah, so I mean, we're going to have a lot of insert stuff. Um, probably be best to look when Janine's here tomorrow mm -hmm. at the logs for was it Tuesday and Wednesday now, or Tuesday and Thursday? Tuesday, Tuesday, Thursday well, is it? Open up Thursdays. Yeah, open it up. That's in there right now. We could go look at Thursday's log and see how she oh, has sure. that arranged. Let's do that. Maybe that answers more questions. Remember to close out your tab. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> See? What time is that supposed to be at? Yeah, it'll be at 7 o'clock, 7 p.m. So ASU, ASU in concert, right. segment one, segment two. So I see, I see one, two, three. Yeah, because there's going to be like a small underwriter in the bed and one of hers. Okay, so she builds it. So there's, there's your files. Mm-hmm. QRC 8001, 8002, 8003, and 8004. See, she already, it's already pre-configured. Okay. So there's nothing for you to, you just load the file. Okay, so I need to just click on that, load the file, and away I go. Using right? that. No. Yeah, using oh. Adobe Edition. Right. Based off of these numbers here. Just, just load it where I want it. Yep. Save it's that. already coming out of the schedule, so you don't have to insert it into the schedule. Oh, okay. Assuming now, that's what I'm understanding, what I'm seeing. That here. would be the title of the track, ASU. ASU. No, the, he would load it into the system, like uh, ASU Concert Seg 1. QSU 1. 8001. Okay. Then, the, then the, the, whatever, the ASU Con Break 1 is QRC 8002. Okay. Uh, the next segment 2 is 8003, and then the next break is 8004. So